thank you for joining for this video. Today we're going to talk about assembly of the mitochondrial genome using PyBio HiFi Reads. This is a tutorial that is complementary to the assembly of um, vertebrate genome from PyBio HiFi and the contamination of these genomes. So we're going to start with um, downloading the data and to do that we're going to go to the tutorial page, copy the link for the data and then go into Galaxy. So in Galaxy, you should connect if you're not uh, identify yourself um, as a user or create an account. And then you're going to go in the activity bar on the left and click on upload data. In this upload data window that opens, you have different options to upload data. You can either choose local file from your computer, choose remote file if you have a uh, AWS repository connected to your account, for example, or you can select patch, paste, fetch data if you want to enter data manually or um, fetch URL data. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to click on paste, fetch data, and we're going to copy the link that we, we're going to paste the link that we copied earlier in this window. So we're going to call this data set Packed by your reads here in the name, and it's a fastqsanger.gz. So we're going to select fastqsanger.gz here. Then you can click on start, and you can close this window, and you see that a new data set has been created in your history. These are the data that are being uploaded. So while it's uploading, we're going to rename our history and calling it, for example, assembly of mitochondrial genome. And then we're going to click on save and you see that your history has been renamed and it makes it easier for you to organize your data. So while it's downloading, we can uh, download the mitogenome for related species. Uh, this mitogenome is going to be used as a reference to align the reads against and to identify which uh, reads belong to mitochondria and use them to assemble the mitochondrial genome of our species. So you have two options here. You can either uh, look for this reference yourself or we can use the uh, MitoIFI tool to search for a closely related mitochondria reference genome. So we're going to go back to Galaxy. In the activity bar, look for tools and look for MitoHiFi. So we want to find a closely related mitochondria reference genome. And so we're going to use um, the species name. So in our case, we're working with the zebra finch. The zebra finch Latin name is Tenopigia cutata. So we're going to uh, copy that and paste it in the species name. Uh, we're going to enter our email. Um, please use your own email. Uh, this is used to query the NCBI database. Uh, they request this information for the query. So I'm going to enter my email. And we're going to use the minimum appropriate length of 15,000. Uh, this is because uh, mitochondrial genome invertebrates are at least 14 kilobase per long. So we are using a value that is slightly higher so we can get complete mitogenome results as our reference. And once we populated all of this parameter, we're going to click on Run Tool. So this tool is going to provide two information. One is the FASTA file of the reference genome, and one is the gene bank file for the reference genome. Now that we have the reference genome for the closely related species, we are going to run the mito -Fi on our PyBio reads in order to assemble the mitochondrial genome. So the first step is to put the PyBio reads, this is a file, into a collection. This is because the tool can take any number of PyBio reads, and in that case, if you have more than one uh, 
first few files, you're going to put all of them in a collection as well. So to create a collection, we're going to click on the checkbox on the top of the history to make it available for all data sets. And we're going to select our pack by read. If you have more than one file, at this point, you would select all of your read files. Then we're going to click on the one out of three selected menu. And we're going to click on build dataset list. So we're going to create a new collection. We're going to call it packed by your reads. Uh, you can decide to keep or hide the original elements. Here we're going to hide them. And you can see that this created a collection in your history that contain the pack by your reads data sets. So we're going to come back to the history and we're going to run Mito hi -Fi. So this time we're not going to use the operation find a close related mitochondrial reference genome. We're going to use the run Mito hi -Fi mode. Uh, so we're using PyBio hi -Fi reads uh, and we're going to select We're going to select pack by reads, but here you can see that apparently it asks for a fast queue file, and our file is a fast queue singer, so apparently it doesn't recognize it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the type of our collection in order to run it. Okay, in order to do that, we're going to click on the little pencil next to the collection in the history, and we're going to go into data type. So we can do that because FastQSanger is a type of FastQ file and some tools require one or the other. FastQSanger is what most of the FastQ files nowadays are. Uh, so we can switch from one to the other without any problem. So we're going to type fastq.gz and we're going to click save. So we, we look at our collection, we can see that the format now is fastq.gz. So we're going to try again and go into mito hi -fi, run mito hi -fi, and select dataset collection, and select pack by reads. Um, we're going to change the blast percentage identity. In the advanced option panel. Um, in the close related mitogenome in FASTA format, we are selecting the reference genome in FASTA mode. In close related mitogenome in GenBug format, we're going to select the reference genome in GenBug format. We're going to use the vertebrate mitochondrial code because that's what we are working with. And we're going to select all the outputs for mito hi -fi. And once you change all these parameters, you're going to click on run tool. Going back to the history, you can see that all the output have been created in the history. So we're going to wait a little bit for it to build and we're going to explore what all of this output means. Okay, now that it's done running, let's take a look at the output of Mito hi -Fi. So the first one is the hi -Fi -ism context. This is the context that I've been assembled from the whole read, so that contain the context from the mitochondria, but also counting from the nuclear genome. Um, then you have the reads that are um, that have mapped filter by side. You have the reads that are uh, mapped to closely related uh, mitochondrial DNA. You have the um, alignments. You have whether the contigs have been uh, secularized or not. 
So in that case, it only talks about contig number three because uh, when you will look at the blast result here, you see that number three is the one that matches um, the mitochondrial reference. So this is the one that's kept as the mitochondrial genome. So in the contiguous circulariz circularization, it tells you whether it's been circularized or not, and uh, where are the position. Um, here you have the contig ID that matches the uh, uh, mitogenome. You have the results only for the matching mitogenome. You have uh, stats about the contigs. Uh, the length, the number of genes, whether it was circularized or not. Uh, you have the FASTA for the mitogenome that has been assembled. You have the gene bank file for this genome. Uh, you have an image showing the coverage, uh, the read coverage of the mitochondrial genome um, by position. And finally, you have an image with the annotation um, of all the genes found in the newly assembled mitogenome. So now that you have all this data, uh, you can keep going and use the rest of the read to assemble your genome, or you can uh, work on whatever analysis you want with your mitogenome. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.